For over 60 years, the ethnic minorities in Burma have been struggling for their freedom. As a people, we have been struggling, we have been fighting for our liberation. It will be very, very uh, helpful if, you know, the whole society, you know, we can educate the whole society. And then uh, probably we might, have, we might still have to use uh, force uh, to get our liberation, our freedom. But at the same time, we can also, you know, uh, fight for our cause uh, through literature, through media, through arts, and through talks. The Burmese Community Center for Education, or the BCCE, was formed to advance freedom of those who fled Burma for Indianapolis. In 2012, the founding members of the BCCE asked if they would accomplish their mission of advancing education as a practice of freedom. The BCCE Youth Stories took up that challenge. Inquiring into what education as the practice of freedom means, the historians interviewed the founding members. A number of themes emerged including self-sufficiency, community uplift, and self-empowerment. When you rely on somebody to make a decision for you because you don't have the information or you don't know, you don't know the language, uh, you are basically uh, relying on other and you are not really free. Uh, because of where we came from, the situation where we came from, the country where we came from, we were disadvantaged, underprivileged, uh, especially in the field of education. Most parents uh, don't didn't get education and most, uh, a lot of young people didn't, didn't get uh, sufficient education and as a result we have to rely on people and uh, it makes us less free. So what we're doing now is you know, <clears throat> to trying to empower the community, uh, give them as much education as we can, as much knowledge as we can uh, through, uh, you know, sometimes through the, their children, sometimes directly to our parents and young adults. And we hope that you know, with uh, these education parents, uh, we understand more of their environment and what they are facing, the, the challenges that they are facing. And also the children, with you know what uh, we are doing with them, uh, we hope that they will be able to uh, grow, learn more, and then uh, contribute uh, back to their families, help their families, and they will make the community freer. Mm -hmm. And then they will, make, they will enable the community to stand on uh, their own. If we can stand on our own, that means we are free. As we listened to our elders, we saw that freedom must move beyond the individual, that we must attend to the collective. On my part, I feel like there's a sense of uh, contributing back to uh, community because I feel like I'm more privileged uh, compared to others. Um, I got to go to school and study and uh, feel like after school I need to like do something to contribute back to the, to uh, whoever, uh, whatever community uh, closest to me. We worry that education here is a great opportunity that we didn't get it in Burma but here we worry the student will discourage because all this difficulty or the challenge they are facing so we want them to boost student morale so we will be encouraged and to face the challenge at least so we start talking about it and then finally we become a former 
organization that we want to help students. Be able to think critically and creatively uh, with reality uh, and also have a meaningful engagement in uh, a community development. Uh, so having people in the community though, so they, they will become more informed um, informed in making their formal decisions and taking control of their life in the present and also in the future. Your brothers and sisters uh, back home, uh, they don't have uh, the same opportunity like you, you do here or you do here. And uh, so I think uh, we, because we have more opportunity, we should also have more responsibility uh, just to, just to, you know, help our, our own people, our own community, our own country to, to bring it up uh, and to, to contribute back. There is a Burmese saying, it means if you have education, you have courage and are free to go anywhere, even in the most challenging circumstances. In Thailand, I feel like, you know, I'm illegal. I don't have a, you know, I, I am not, uh, I recognized as one of the citizens. But at least, you know, with education, uh, like you, you can still look for maybe a job and maybe you can travel like from one place to another place, yeah, without fear. Like sometimes I get caught by the police and they ask me, they speak in Thai, they ask for my Thai ID. I always said, well, I left it at home, yeah. And they, they believe me. Because <laughs> like, I feel like because I speak, you know, some Thai, you know, with some of the education, so, well, yeah, mm -hmm. they trust me, so, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I try to use that kind of advantage to set myself free. <laughs> well, we should not be like passive object. Uh, it means uh, we should not let our thinking and action to be controlled by teachers. Uh, we should be able to make our own choice, our own, uh, to find our own voice and opinion. To be able to do those things, uh, we will need you know, some good education that will uh, empower us to think critically, to analyze our situation, to, to explore new things, and to, to, counter, to counter other people, you know, our enemies or whoever, our counterparts to counter point by point, to counter their uh, opinions, and then uh, to speak for ourselves. The BCCE uh, Youth Story Corp? Uh, yes. Story Corp, okay. Uh, this is a very good thing. It's a very good practice uh, for you. I'm glad that you raised a lot of uh, very critical, very good questions. Uh, um, I don't know how to answer some of them, uh, <laughs> to be honest. And uh, we don't know how to ask questions. Uh, even simple, simple question, we, we don't know how to ask. Um, I think it's a result of our education, our education system in the camp. And I went, uh, I, I learned through the education for the, like, most of my life also. So I'm struggling whenever I need to ask questions. I don't know how to ask. Because in school, we, we are taught, we just taught to follow the teacher, uh, memorize what the teacher said. We, we don't raise questions or we don't ask. We don't question the authority or we don't question our teacher. So we don't know how to ask good questions. Uh. An important lesson we learn is that education as the practice of freedom is an ongoing struggle. There is more time learned. It demands that we continue to ask ourselves and others hard questions. We merely get ourselves education to get ourselves betterment, uh, to get ourselves a better life, a better job. Uh, we will be very tempted to pursue it at any cost. And that is even if we know our pursuit of a better life is at the expense of somebody else uh, suffering or somebody else losing. Part of everyday life is contributing, sharing, giving back, especially for the young people. We hope that uh, if we can work together, if we can live as, if we can show them uh, example, 
ourselves. Uh, they will pursue education uh, so that they can advance their lives or they can help advance their, the lives of their parents. But not only that, to see education as a practice of freedom and to, to become uh, a full uh, human being, full members of the society. I am Rire. I am Sangpuse. I am Sunlight. We are the PCCE Youth Stories of Indianapolis. <laughs>